All right, so check out this eagle. Eagle Super Light by Jayco. I see all those wrinkles in there. That's the problem. We got some delamination, some issues on this back wall. That's what we're going to do. We're going to tear it apart. But that's all we're doing on this work order is just the back wall. So obviously we got to take out the window, the ladder, lights, all that stuff. Strip her all down, see what's going on behind there. And, uh, what? You got that? Huh? Yeah, you can see that through the camera. And you can see this other one right here. So, but it all stems from that turn bar, especially in that corner. The way these do, see what I show you up there. See how that bar goes across right there, that little bar right here. Right there. Water will get in on the top side this way, and it'll drool all the way down here. So, I know this thing has got some issues. We're just going to see how much issues it has. So, that's what we're doing. We're going to get ready to take it apart here in a few minutes. Stay tuned. On the set. Looky there. So, you're going to buy a coach. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. People want to see what we're doing. All right. This snap trim, it just snaps out. That's all it does. See? You can snap her back in, clickety-clack. All right, so you just pop a knife, zippity-doo-dah, and then what you're going to do, you're saying, hey, I want to buy a coach. You're going to buy a camper. All right, so where's the screw gun? Come yonder, please. Yonder. All right, so what you want to do is take out some screws. So when you take out a screw randomly, we want to see how it's up there. Look at how, look at there. See that screw? See how rusty it is? Look how rusty that screw is. That's indicative there's water down in behind there. And that stud that's in there, there's a piece of wood in here that it is a rotte. That's French for rotted. Man, that is real rotte. <coughs> Pardon. Yeah, I know this whole bottom section is. Oh, this is real. I gotta zoom up. You can see, you can even see all the rust anyways on the, this is a, a corner mold is what it's called. Look at these ones here. Okay. So that's how you check it. And then if it's good, you just put it back. You know, and check a few more. And you can check here, you can check all the corner molds. You know, like this one on the other side, on the front. Just randomly check, because that's where you're going to get a lot of your leaks, right off the rip. So, let's see if I can get up on the top here and show you this. Okay, so here's a ladder we just took off right here. So a lot of times you'll get this breaching right in here, and that's where the water will come down, right in there. So this may have happened on the back here too. It doesn't look like there's any sealant on there, see? No sealant. No knotting. There's nothing here either. See, that's just butyl. Butyl could be your worst friend, or it could be your best friend or your worst enemy. That's all dry. When butyl dries out, it'll suck the water in. That's what it'll do. But they didn't even seal any of this. So, this is just Dicor junk. We don't believe in it. Dicor is a ripoff. Don't buy it. So, we'll, uh, we'll check the rest of this out. But this, what's on our work order, is just doing the back wall. So, but this would have to just get cleaned out. Now, if you have something like this, you take a knife to it, you risk cutting this. The roofing. Do you want to use like something plastic, just a, like a plastic knife of some sort, just nice and easy, and go and clean that out. So you can actually see that one's rusty too right there. That one down there is rusty. So yeah, that would tell me that we got, you know, you got some issues with the coach, you know. You may want to look for another one. How are we doing on these ones? These are all rotted too? Yes, sir. At the bottom. Yeah, you can see all the rust holes. Oh, like no, that's that. wax in his ear. We're talking about this here. It looks the same color. The wax in your ear uh -huh. looks similar to the rusted out screw. The water in my <laughs> ear. There you go. Look at there. Look at the water out of my ear. Freaking flipping mess. All right, so we took this one out. See how this one just snaps off here? Just comes out. 
Ta-da! Easy peasy! Hey, you take a couple screws out of there, and you'll see. Oh, they're so bad. Wow, they're bad. Okay, gets to get on right and screw that one. <laughs> There's no thread left on wow. that screw there. <laughs> Same way. You're Same good. way. Look at there. Same thing. Uh, not there. All of them are. Yeah. Oh, or yeah. most of which. Same thing. But that's because, hey, hey, I, in, in their defense, the reason why, it's the good. reason why is because they use these little drywall screws. Yeah. Uh. That's why. No I'll bet if they use that heavy duty drywall screw. Well. Uh, drywall well, screws on an exterior application. Well, that's that's more, funny. Alright, so we're gonna take all this apart. We're gonna still take out the window and then this whole thing will probably fall off. <laughs> and we'll see. You know, probably got some bad insulation in there too. That that would not surprise me. So I got up as high as I can go go away. No problem. All right, All right. We're moving along. We're moving along. This one came all the way from North Carolina. We got another one that we just finished up that they're doing. That one that's sitting over there in Bay One. That came from Lansing, Michigan. They come from everywhere. It's like that movie. What's that movie? Field of Dreams. <laughs> Build it, they will come. <laughs> Well, well, the back side, yeah. we're a little camper. You can see all the water settling in down there. See it all? Yep, still wet in there. This is a mess. We'll come out of this a little bit. Well, obviously, we're all going to come off. This is all soft in here, this framing. So, obviously, the siding will come off. And then, uh, let's see where the problem was. Go up this ladder here. Let's see. Huh? Maybe this was a deer. <laughs> Looks like it was pulled away and it was put in here. So we'll check it. We're gonna obviously patch that. We're gonna have to take care of this as well on this side because when we deal this, when you do deal with an old roof, this rubber wants to just shrink back. Rubber shrinks. But you can see this coach again, even on this side, no caulking, no caulking. And you need to get things these sealed. You can see some of the, the roof right there. And he's going to be up for a new roof on this thing. And then uh, these bell caps, I don't like those at all. Those usually right there where the legs come around. Where the leg comes around. See if I can get my finger out of the way. Where it comes down this way, this way. Inside that pocket. Inside the pocket there. Usually the water will collect up in those things. And they'll leak. But you can, you can see that we've got, you know, at least some... The bare metal looks like some streaking on there, but to me it looks like right here it looks like those are waves, right there. A couple of good wrinkles. So, but um, again, the only thing on this work order was the the back wall on this one. So we'll get her fixed up. We're gonna tear this whole wall off, and we'll show you what we do. Look at all that water in there. The bottom piece right here, off the side of the coach. You see it. This one. The water down inside there. Uh, let's see what we got up here. I just let you know. uh, look at all this rock. And some of it's good. Yeah, there's some on here that's good. Clean day lot. And some, most of it's rotted, but the good stuff is hard to get off. This stuff will stick pretty well. All right. We have fans that were put on this all night. We had fans. All that's all dry. However, we still got some moisture here. Whatever could be coming from it. It's an enigma. This is still wet. Polystyrene, which is the foam, does not hold moisture. The moisture can get through it, and it may be in there temporarily, but it doesn't hold it, so it's always evacuating. All right, that being said, we found out there's a chunk of wood in here. See, right there, that's wood. This is rotted. 
or at least a portion of it is, but we gotta get that out. And, and maybe the same down there, I don't know. Haven't trekked that far. So that's my dilemma, I gotta get this rotted wood out now, and then we can start to put in a fresh piece, and then rebuild everything. And we'll get some mold kill on here and clean all this up and relaminate a new piece on and ta-da, out the door she goes. So that's where we are so far. I know you YouTubers want to know. You need to have this information. What happened next? We'll be back. That's the paper, the wallpaper on the other side of all this sheathing. They got this big plywood in here, and I'm just trying to figure out why. There may be something inside, just as a screw mount, but it's a little bigger than normal. So, and it could have been something they did years ago and went, hey, we don't even have to spend that much money, let's make it cheaper. So, that's what I'm investigating right now. This is just part of the, these strings, these are there put inside the, the sheathing. That's what that is. So to add some strength to it. So this here is about an inch thick of plywood. So that's what I'm trying to do is just layer it so you can see that the grain's going one way, and then the grain goes the other way. That's how you get plies. They keep it's called orientation. That's how they do it. So but see it doesn't have it down there. You can see all that foam right there. So like I said, we'll see what's going on with it. You just gotta kind of nice and Nice and easy to see what's going on. But this is why it was still dripping water, because it's still all wet right there. And this may be one piece of wood all the way across, possibly, for that. And the floor will probably be up here, just so they could build this lower end right here. And again, that's what we're investigating here. Uh, so I got this, this apart right here, and decided to hit the wall out. That's the inside right there, the inside of the wall. So we're gonna take this all apart, it'll be easier to work. And then I'll try and reskin this. Might try to see if I can save this paper right on the back if possible, but this here, see the paper is right there. And you got this rotted wood on the back, so more than likely it may not get salvaged. So and you're not gonna be able to find it. But it is what it is. So we just gotta take a couple of things apart here like this. This piece, and then um, once I get this out, just gotta strip it all apart and rebuild it and put it back on. It's easier than trying to peck at it and try to, you know, salvage it. But even like, it's so bad, all of this is rotted too. If you don't get some of this out of here, it's just gonna smell anyways. So if it was mine, that's the way I'd do it. Just take it apart and do it. I was hoping to salvage, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So the wall's out, that lower end. And then what I wanted to do, make sure we don't have any rot in here. It wouldn't make sense to rebuild the wall and try to screw it to rotted frame and this is all aluminum frame in here. It all sounds really good. So I feel confident we're right there in here how solid that is. So we're good with all that. We'll just clean obviously clean all that booger out of there. Rebuild this wall here and then uh, set it back in and that'll uh, that'll get us. It'll take a little bit but we'll get her. And then uh, we gotta reskin the top here. We'll reskin this whole whole thing here and we'll relaminate we got to take the other one the, the, the back off right here that we took off we got to clean all that up on the opposite side so we'll get that all cleaned up once it's all clean then we can glue it to the fresh to the fresh um, glue on that we're going to have to we're going to glue it on and we're also going to screw it on so it's nice and tight so we'll make sure we won't have any of this and then we're going to go around and check some of these areas that caused this let's not have it again right so i put this thing up on a bench how rotted that is so this is this is the wallpaper that I was talking about you don't want that on there I wouldn't want it on there that's that's junk it stinks so that's why I want to clean all this off we're gonna clean it all down nice probably sand that a little bit I want to get all this booger off of this get it done right but that was why I decided to you know it was just not looking right to me sometimes you get into stuff and you look at it and you go you gotta just kind of make an executive decision and say hey it's probably not 
all that much. Where does it go? And then the risk of not fixing it properly. You go, well, you know, I'll only do it here. And then down the road you find out, well, you should have done it all while you had it there. You know, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, we don't get paid to do it half fast. So we're going to take time to do it right and rebuild this thing and put it back together. It probably doesn't need to be this heavy at all. There's nothing in there that requires it at all either. It's just a filler piece for here. So that's all we're going to do is just make it a filler piece. Probably there's a little bit of blocking right here for the shelf and over there. That's all we need. So we can lighten it up and put it back together. All over here. It's all down in here. Got us some bugs. The good thing we uh, decided to rip this apart. I don't know how they taste. Let me try one. Let me try one. Not bad. Not bad. You put a little dipper sauce on them. You get it all. I see why other countries eat some of these bugs. Now those are damn tasty. Give me another one of those. Okay, so we're going to put some M1 on here. We, uh, we're going with composite. That's what we're doing. We already got this one in. And then what we're doing afterwards is we're going to put a series of screws in here and hold it all together. And we'll put a couple in this way as well. So this will catch those areas that I needed to have some uh, strong back behind just to stop so we could screw the cabinets, the bases, or whatever was in there. Get the, there you go, get some there. Get some on this side too. That'll get us. All right, so we got this all uh, halfway built. We're gonna put the other skin on. So what we did, this is a piece of composite which is screwed in. We screwed it in there, and then I got another piece there for the top. That'll get all of the backers and the strong backs we need to screw in the cabinets. And then we put some foam inside here. It was deliberately cut short so we could load it because that's what's going to help it bond. It's going to be all glued together. So that's what we're doing now. Now we just line it up. Probably get a little bit more booger on this side. There we go. And I think we're good. So we got this all rebuilt. And now what we're going to do is just set it in place. So we've got a little bit of glue on here. we got some down here to just kind of catch this little piece. Really doesn't need it. And we got some over there in that corner as well. You can see all that white stripe down there. So what we're going to do is pin it in. Then we got some pilot holes right here on this side. You can see them even on the other side. There's some pilot holes right there and on the opposite end. That's to catch that frame right there. Kind of hold everything tight together. And that's what we're going to do is screw it all back all in. Right, so what we did now, we already got this one glued up on here. And now we're gluing this one back here. We'll make sure it's all trimmed in. Nice. The jazzy t-shirt right there. Woo! That's fancy. Right, so now we're we've got everything all prepped and we're gonna spray this on here, you know, adhere it on there. So some of the things that we probably won't get out, you can see them right there, some of those wrinkles. We're gonna do our best to get them out, but sometimes when they set in there for a while, uh, they don't want to come out. So we're going to really work to try to get it, but FYI, if you've got some serious wrinkles in them, a lot of times you've got to replace the panel. Well, this whole back side here would probably flex about $500. You still need decals and everything else, so we're just trying to get it back, get all the rod out, and try to save them a couple of bucks. You know, that was the idea. Because we're not even doing a roof on this, and it probably could use one. But anyhow, that's where we're at. What we're doing is uh, working this corner here where we had that those couple of burps that we showed you. I want to make sure we try and get them as tight as we can. All right, so now we've got the wall. You can see we've got the window in. And what we're doing now up here is we're working to clean that up so we can get that termination bar that runs from side to side. We've already got the corner ones on. You can see we've got the lights working. They're all working fine. So we're uh, just trying to get everything else pulled together. So we're all set and uh, made sure the lights were working. We already did that. We double checked it and uh, this looked like, I think on the last clip, I think one was, they were blinking but only that marker light was coming on. So we ran another wire to make sure it was all set. So we got that squared away. Got all our trim mold, corner mold, everything's caulked, sealed and put in there. And then we also, one of the things we did 
I'm going to see if I can show you on the top here. If I can get a ladder. Here, slide me that ladder, John. So a lot of this was from this ladder right here. There you go, that's good. Thank you. So a lot of this, I don't, I don't like the way these ladders are mounted. Because normally what they do is they just put the ladder rung here on the roof and slobber with caulking. So what we did is I made a boot out of this plastic. It's an old um, plumbing vent cap that we had. So that's what I did on that. Otherwise, we're, we're ready to rock and roll, sealed everything up, pulled the rubber back over and primed it and so on and so forth. So it looks good. That's our Eagle wall rebuild. Everything working. Okay, let the brakes off. There we go. We're working. We got them all going. Good deal. Yep, left blank are working. Right working. Yep, marker lights all working. Excellent.